Intel is about to launch the 14th generation of desktop processors. It'll happen next week on October 17th. So it is no surprise that more information about the upcoming CPUs leaks almost every day. In this video, I want to focus on Intel's pricing strategy for its 14th generation processors, as well as the leaked official Intel slide which compares the i9-14900K to the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D in 25 games. The picture quality of the slide isn't great, and it is in Chinese. But don't worry, everything has been translated and analyzed. I will tell you everything you need to know to decide whether or not to upgrade. But first, CDKeyOffer.com has been my favorite trusted seller of affordable Windows 10 Pro OEM keys for over three years now. They're currently running a Halloween sale on all Microsoft software. Use discount code IVADIM to get 25% off and bring the Windows 10 Pro price down to just $16. Then securely check out with PayPal or another payment method. The key is delivered instantly, so you can activate it and upgrade to Windows 11 for free if you wish to do so. Microsoft Office 2019 and 2021 Pro are also on sale with a discount code IVADIM. Grab them now while the Halloween sale is on. Before we get to the performance and price, let's quickly recap the specifications of the six new processors Intel is set to launch on October 17th, including the i9-14900K and KF, i7-14700K and KF, and i5-14600K and KF. In case you don't know, KF models feature exactly the same specifications as the K models, with the only difference being that KF doesn't have integrated graphics. The i9-14900K and KF have 8 performance and 16 efficiency cores for a total of 24 cores and 32 threads. That is the same number of cores its predecessor, the i9-13900K has. However, the new i9 features a core clock boost of 6 GHz, which is 200 MHz higher than its predecessor's clock speed of 5.8 GHz. The cache amount stays at the same 36 MB and TDP at 125 watts. The i7-14700K and KF are the only processors that have received a proper specifications upgrade. They come with 8 performance and 12 efficiency cores for a total of 20 cores and 28 threads. That is 4 extra efficiency cores compared to the i7-13700K. This translates into a much better multi-threading performance. More on that in just a minute. The new i7 also comes with an improved core clock boost of 5.6 GHz. Furthermore, the 14700K has 33 MB of cache and a 125 Watt TDP. This processor has the potential to become the best value CPU of the year if Intel prices it right. The i5-14600K and KF keep the same configuration as the i5-13600K, with 6 performance and 8 efficiency cores for a total of 14 cores and 20 threads, as well as 24 MB of cache and 125 Watt TDP. On the bright side, the 14600K features a core clock boost of 5.3 GHz, which is 200 MHz higher than its predecessor 13600K clock speed of 5.1 GHz. This is pretty good as the new i5 has finally surpassed the 2-year-old flagship i9-12900K, which has a 5.2 GHz core clock boost. The non-K processors will launch later, most likely at the CES 2024 in the beginning of January. Here's the list of all known CPU models and their respective specifications. Pause the video if you wish to take a closer look. Moving on to the next part of the video. Let's take a closer look at this leaked Intel Benchmarks slide. It is under embargo until October 16th. I suspect that that is the day when independent reviews will be allowed to go live, just one day before the launch. Intel chose to showcase 14 games where the i9-14900K is better than the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D, 10 games where it loses, and one game where they are matched. Most notably, the 14900K loses to the 7950X 3D in Dota 2 by 23%, Fortnite by 18%, Cyberpunk 2077 by 11%, and League of Legends by 6%. On the bright side, the 14900K is 23% faster than the 7950X 3D in Starfield and Metro Exodus, and 7% faster in Rainbow Six Siege, 6% 6 in Hitman 3, and 3% in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. On average, the i9-14900K is only 2% better than the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D that has been available to buy for more than 7 months now. 
From Intel's perspective, it is hardly an achievement worth talking about. I suspect that that is exactly the reason Intel is staying so quiet about the upcoming 14th generation processors even in the very last week before launch. To the best of my understanding, the gaming performance difference between the 13th generation and the 14th generation is insignificant. Even if we take a look at the best case scenario where the 14900K is 23% faster than the 7950X 3D according to Intel, it is still not a big deal, because the 13900K is already 25% faster than the 7950X 3D in this game according to hardware unboxed testing. The discrepancy between the two results is due to the different benchmarking methodologies used. I still expect the 14900K to outperform the 13900K by 3-5% on average. Now let's take a look at the 14th generation prices. We are going to use the United Kingdom prices as this is the best sample of information we have to date. But they are tied to the US prices via the dollar, so it is still a good indication of where the 14th generation will land in terms of price compared to the 13th generation. The prices have been revealed by Overclockers UK, one of the largest electronics retailers in the United Kingdom. According to the listings, the 14900K is 1.6% more expensive than the 13900K. The 14900KF is 3.7% more expensive. The 14700KF is 5% more expensive than the 13700KF. The 14600K is 6.7% more expensive than the 13600K and the 14600KF is 7.5% more expensive than the 13600KF. The price of the 14700K is currently unknown. Of course, these are preliminary prices and they may change at launch, but the bottom line is the upcoming 14th generation processors will be more expensive than the currently available 13th generation, and they won't be offering any significant gaming performance uplift. Don't expect to see a better power consumption either. I'm sure that Intel has pushed the new processors as hard as they could to get that 2% advantage over the Ryzen 7000X 3D series, just to be able to make the claim that they have the gaming performance crown. For now. Also, don't forget that the performance depends on the games you play. I think we'll see plenty of reviews where Ryzen 7000X 3D beats 14th gen and vice versa. To me, the only interesting processor is the i7-14700K thanks to those four extra e-cores. It will be a good option for a professional who uses applications that can take advantage of all the cores. However, when it comes to gaming, I think that it is absolutely fine if you don't wait for the 14th gen and just buy a 13th gen or a Ryzen CPU now. Check out some of the processors I recommend at the links in the description below. The Ryzen 7 7800X 3D remains my top pick for a gaming PC build. It is much more power efficient than the 13900K while offering the same level of performance in games, and it is much cheaper. The 7800X 3D is now available for just $349. It is the best price in months, check it out at the link below. Other than that, watch one of these two videos next to learn more about the forthcoming PC hardware. If you enjoyed this video, then reward it with a like to help me reach more people, and subscribe for more content like this. It was I, Vadim, until next time.